Imagine something older than our sun, born in a star system light years away, a frozen traveler wandering through the galaxy for billions of years, and now it has arrived in our cosmic backyard. This is 3i Atlas, only the third interstellar object ever discovered. And the latest news? It not behaving like any comet we've ever seen, it growing a massive tail earlier than expected, it releasing gases no one thought possible at this distance, and its dust? It reflecting light in ways that break the rules of comet science. Tonight, we're diving into the story of this alien visitor and why astronomers believe it could change our understanding of how worlds are born across the galaxy. On July 1st, 2025, astronomers using the Atlas Telescope in Chile spotted a faint dot moving against the stars. At first, it looked like just another comet, but the orbital calculations revealed something shocking. This object wasn't from our solar system. Its orbit was hyperbolic, an open curve, not bound to the sun. That meant it was an interstellar traveler, just passing through, never to return. We've only seen two such objects before. The first was the mysterious Oumuamua in 2017, which sparked endless debates about its strange shape and whether it could even be artificial. The second was Comet Borisov in 2019, which looked more like a normal comet. But now comes 3i Atlas, the third interstellar visitor, and it already stranger than both. Normally, comets wake up when they get close to the sun. Heat warms their icy surfaces, gases boil off, and a glowing coma forms around the nucleus. But astronomers digging through older sky surveys found something incredible. 3i Atlas was already active months before its official discovery. Even at distances where most comets remain frozen and silent, Atlas was shedding dust and gas. That shouldn't be possible. It means this comet carries exotic ices, materials so volatile, they sublimate even in the deep freeze of space. It was like finding smoke rising from a frozen lake in the middle of winter. From the very beginning, Atlas was breaking the rules. As summer 2025 turned to fall, telescopes began watching Atlas more closely. And then came the images that stunned astronomers. Atlas had grown a beautiful, ghostly tail. This tail stretched millions of kilometers into space, illuminated by sunlight, a clear sign of intense activity. But here's the catch. Atlas was still far from the sun. It wasn't supposed to look like this yet. One NASA scientist put it this way, it like watching a campfire blaze in the rain. The physics just don't add up. For astronomers, this tail wasn't just beautiful. It was a mystery. Next came the chemical revelations. The James Webb Space Telescope, alongside other observatories, took a closer look at the gases pouring from Atlas and what they found was astonishing. The comet coma was dominated by carbon dioxide, far more than water, which usually drives comet activity in our solar system. Water was there, carbon monoxide was there, even traces of sulfur compounds. But the balance was completely different from typical comets. This is the recipe of an alien world, matter that formed around another star under different conditions billions of years ago. One astronomer compared it to tasting a drink you've never had before, familiar ingredients, but in a completely alien mix. Atlas was showing us what chemistry looks like in another planetary system. And then came another twist, the way its dust interacts with light. When scientists measured how light was polarized by the comet coma, they saw something unusual, a deep negative polarization branch. That a fancy way of saying the dust grains weren't reflecting light like normal comet dust does. In fact, the pattern looked more like distant icy worlds at the edge of our solar system, Kuiper belt objects and trans-Neptunian bodies. It suggested that Atlas dust is older, denser, maybe shaped in alien conditions we've never directly observed. Even the dust was whispering, I'm not from here. So why does this matter? Because comets are time capsules. They hold the raw ingredients that build planets. And Atlas isn't just any comet, it's a piece of another solar system, delivered straight to our doorstep. For astronomers, this is like finding a bottled message floating in from another shore, studying its chemistry, its dust, its behavior. All of it helps us understand how other worlds form and how common our kind of solar system might be. In other words, Atlas is a cosmic messenger and its message is priceless. So where is Atlas headed? The comet will reach its closest point to the sun, called perihelion, on October 29th, 2025, at about 136 astronomical units, that just outside Earth's orbit. Then on December 19th, 2025, it will make its closest approach to Earth, about 1.8 astronomical units, or 269 million kilometers. That's safe, no danger to us, but it's close enough for telescopes worldwide to study it in exquisite detail. The James Webb Space Telescope, Hubble, Sparex, and even the Parker Solar Probe are all preparing to catch Atlas at its brightest. The next few months will be a gold rush of data. By early 2026, Atlas will fade back into the darkness of interstellar space. It will never return, but before it leaves, it's giving us a once-in-a-lifetime chance to study alien matter without leaving our solar system. Each measurement, each spectrum, each image is a glimpse into another world history. This isn't just a comet, it's a visitor from another sun, and it's here to remind us that the galaxy is full of worlds like ours, each with its own stories, its own mysteries, and its own travelers wandering the stars. Don't blink, because 3i Atlas is here, now. And once it's gone, it's gone forever.